big game against Oklahoma State a couple of years ago. Now you're one of the, the upperclassmen, the veterans on this team. What sort of things can you can you teach some of these younger guys who haven't had that experience specifically at this place? Oh um, man, it's a good environment out there. I mean, the pads be hitting against the wall. I mean, it's a fun place to play. We just gotta come ready. What? Uh, I mean, they've got a couple of pretty dangerous guys you're gonna have to pay attention mm -hmm. to in the receiver. Wallace and then the running back Hill. Just what, what does each of those guys bring that is a challenge to you? Um, they're good players. I mean, you turn on the film, they're probably the first two people that stick out. I mean, I feel like if we do our job as a defense, as a group together, I feel like we'll get the job done. Trayvon with Wallace, is there something in particular that you do think jumps out about him? Um, I mean, he's just a great athlete. I mean, I feel like he's a, he's an alert. Wherever he at on the field, we got to know where he at and uh, just play good technique against him. If you go back to your free safety days, mm -hmm. um, he seemed to win a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles or, or jump balls or competitive right. battles in the corner. Um, I don't know. Do, do, you, do you see guys like him very often, or does he kind of have a, a different set of skills when it comes to that, just that separates him a little bit? Um, I could say he's a little different. I mean, just watch a film. He's very explosive. I mean, we just definitely, like I said, we got to know where he at at all times. I mean, we definitely going to have help shadowing his way, so we'll be all right. Uh, Zeke compared Hill to Tevin Bush in terms of just like <laughs> explosiveness <laughs> and speed. Is that is that a good comparison, you think? As far as <laughs> I mean, how he can they they both different a little bit. I mean, he a running back, he a receiver. Right. But I feel like Tevin Bush probably the hardest person to tackle one on one in open field. But I mean, Hill he's just he he got moves just like him. But I I probably say Tev got a little bit more moves. <laughs> I guess what's it like as a unit coming off of a game like that where you held a team to negative rushing yardage? Is that, is that as good a feeling as you could have? I guess outside of a shutout. I mean, it's a good feeling. I mean, but but Sundays, Coach Gibby always gonna pull out the plays that we need to need to correct, and I mean, and make you feel like you still got a lot more to improve. And I feel like we can still get better. We still, I feel like we still haven't played our complete game as a defense yet, and it's still coming. Dan has been talking a lot about how David Long hasn't gotten enough pub mm -hmm. nationally uh, as a top linebacker. Just. Do you consider him one of the, the best, if not the best in the country? Oh, yeah, he, he's, he's the best linebacker. I mean, just the way he play, I mean, he's physical, he's downhill. I mean, just watching him play, like, I never seen a linebacker just squeeze through the linemen like that and make plays. I mean, he's a fun person to be around, and I just like, I, I live with him personally, so, I mean, he's, he's a great guy.